you can see you can see my screen right black screen you can see um it's yeah i can see it i can see it okay when you are going to solve this matrix we be careful about its process that means row number and column number so the first thing you have to keep in mind that row number and column number how is going to match i'm writing some matrix over here so you will get an idea suppose i am taking this one as 2 by 2 matrix so what is meaning of 2 by 2 matrix two rows and two columns very good two rows and two columns now here also i am going to take it as a 2 by 2 matrix that means there is two row and two column yeah so suppose what i am going to write i am going to write some digits over here so 1 Two, three, four, uh, five. Sorry. So I'm going to take five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Yeah. Now. Cross two matrix, two cross two matrix. Now the main important part which you are going to showcase that is what is the column number of the first one, and what is the row number of the second one. Okay. If yeah. these two are giving you same, same, equal, then matrix multiplication is possible. What I said? Um, if they if they let us if they say there's a number, then it's uh, possible. Possible. So take the another example. Suppose I'm I'm just not writing the matrix. Just I'm writing uh, the row number and the column number, just for your understanding. Suppose the first matrix has two cross five. So what? How many row? How many column? Uh, two rows, five columns, and second matrix having five rows and three columns. And three columns. Five, three columns. So, as for the rule of matrix multiplication, I have already mentioned that this number means the column number of the first one has to be equal to the first row number of the second one. If they are equal, then matrix multiplication is possible. So, is this possible for this matrix? I mean, yes. multiple possible. Yes, it is possible. So, what will be the result in matrix? What will be my result in matrix? What is remaining? It. What is the row number of the first one? Uh, two. What is the column number of the second one? Three. So, your result in matrix will be two cross three. Am I clear? Yeah. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. The next thing is will be you need to identify each and every cases, each and every problem that what is the row number and column number. Okay. Let me take you to the next one. How to multiply the matrix? Okay. Yeah. So just let me take you a uh, simple. Problem numbers. I'm going to take it some numbers like suppose one. Uh, this is suppose. What is happening in this? So suppose um, it is one. This is two, and this is three, and this is four. Yeah. Multiplied with the matrix. Suppose this is five, six. Seven, eight. Like previously, I was saying that we are going to do a row column operation. Okay, row column yeah. operation means this is the row, and this is the column. Yeah. When is multiplication? Multiplication will be like a dot, or it will be something given over here. So, this is your first. Uh, this is your second row, and previously it was first row. How are you going to do the operation? First step, first number. First number you will get it from. I'm just writing the matrix. 
So this is my two cross two matrix. Because this one was two cross two. Yeah. Two cross two means two by two matrix. And this one also two by two matrix. Right? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. So it is possible. So what will be my resultant? Resultant should be two by two matrix. Yeah. Right? Because two rows, uh, the row number is coming from here. And column number is coming from here. Yeah. Yes. OK, now how are you going to multiply? One should be this one should be multiplied with the first value. How much? One five is a five. Five. Now two is here. Two should be multiplied with the column number that is seven. So two seven. Fourteen. So five plus fourteen. How much? Nineteen. Nineteen. This is the first value. Now the second value. Second value will come from first value. What is there? Row number one should be multiply with column six. One six. One times six. 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 Now two should be multiply with the column that is here. Eight. Two times eight. Uh, Sixteen. So six plus sixteen. Twenty-two. How much? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. So you understood one thing that, yeah. First you have to multiply row with column, the position-wise multiplication, then addition. So first is multiplication, then what do you have to do? Addition. Addition. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. Next, OK, now use the same method and just tell me what will be the operation for the second row. What will be the operation for the second row? Same thing will be applied. First, you will multiply this. Then you will multiply with this. OK, and you will tell me the first and the second value. OK. Tell so, me what will be the value. So three times seven is twenty one. No, so three times five. First value, first value. Three times five. Oh, um, 15. 15. Then, then plus? Uh, plus 3 times 8. No. You are not following the arrow? I did 5 and 7. Then you, you, uh, for, for, for number 1, you did 5 and 8. So I'm doing like the way you did it for that one. No, number 1, I haven't done 5 and 8. You check. Again, you check. I have all that's why I put a red color and white color to make you understand that which row and which column is multiplying. Check again. One times five plus two times seven. This is my first value. One times six plus two times eight. That is my second value. Check. Okay, so then. Uh, five times three is fifteen, and seven times three is twenty-one. No, again mistake. Am I multiplying one with five and one with seven? Again, I'm repeating. First row: one with five, two with seven, one with five plus two with seven. I'm writing here. If you are getting confused, I'm writing here. This is my first value. What is my first value? You tell me what do I have got 1 times 5 and 2 times 7? How much? 19. So am I written the same value in the resultant matrix or something different? The same. Same. So second row I said this is my first row. I am writing as 1 R. Okay. 1 R, first row, first column. And the first row, uh, again, the second one is I have done one times six. Plus. Two times eight. How much one times six plus two times eight is how much? Twenty two. Twenty two. Am I written something else over there? 
No. What do I need to play? Then, now you tell me what will be the second row. Multiply now. What should be three times five? And then three times seven? No, four times seven. Why are you doing the same mistake? You check, you check the value. One times five, two times seven. Am I multiplying one times five, one times seven? I think I thought you were supposed to do three and four times five and seven. That's what I thought. But I have written now. There's no way of thinking that whatever I'm written in the screen and you see that. Follow this pattern. Tell me what will be the value? Three times 43. five, four times seven. How much? Forty three. 43, 15 plus 28, right? Yeah, 43. 43, so this is my first row, sorry, second row, first column. Now tell me what will be the value for the fourth one? Uh, four times six and four times, no, wait, uh, three times six and four times eight. Three times six plus? Four times eight. Four times eight. Okay. How much? Uh, it's 50. 50. So this is your 50. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now you understood how to multiply? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do one thing. I'm going to um, anyway. I'm going to stop this video. If the video is on.